हेलो गाइस द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज नॉमिनल जीडीपी वर्सेस रियल जीडीपी जीडीपी डिफ्लेटर एज वेल एज सर्टेन इंडसेस लाइक सीपीआई डब्ल्यूपीआई लेट्स स्टार्ट विद नॉमिनल एंड रियल जीडीपी if we measure the gdp of a country in two consecutive years we see that the figure of uh, a figure of a gdp for the latter year is twice that of the previous year here let's take an example to understand this figure of gdp of year 1 is 100 year of uh, figure of gdp of year 2 is the next year is 200 we can say that the gdp has doubled in this time period through nominal gdp but it may also happen in the same in these uh, two years that production has remained the same but the prices have doubled how did we come to this 100 this 100 we arrived at by multiplying the value of production for example 20 units are produced and price per unit is 5 so we came at 100 but in the second year if the same units are produced 20 units are produced but the price has doubled from 5 to 10 then nominal gdp has doubled here we can see the nominal gdp would have doubled because if the price has doubled to 10 nominal gdp would be 200 but has the economy really moved forward that is the question that is not answered through nominal gdp so nominal gdp is pure increase in the total value of gdp which is arrived at by multiplying the units produced with the price of production so the val- volume of production in the country has doubled but it is possible that only prices of all goods and services have doubled whereas volume of production has remained constant so how do we fi- find out the real growth in an economy that is found out through real gdp so in order to compare the gdp figures of different countries or different time period two things can be done you can compare the macroeconomic variables of different countries as well as different time period so we can not rely on gdp evaluated at current market price here the market price was 5 rupees in this year the market price is 10 rupees so you cannot rely on this price of 5 and 10 you can rely on this volume only because this is what shows the increase in production of an economy and that is what growth is all about for comparison we take the help of real gdp how is real gdp calculated real gdp is calculated in a way such that the goods and services are evaluated at some constant set of prices or constant prices so rather than relying on this 10 we rely on certain constant set of prices which may be anything which we calculate differently to come out to the real value of gross domestic product since these prices remain fixed if the real gdp changes we can be sure that it is the volume of production that is undergoing change because that this price is constant so we know that it is this 20 the volume of production which is changing this is the concept of nominal and real gdp <laughs> then we come to gdp deflator what is gdp deflator the ratio of nominal gdp to real gdp gives an gives us an idea of how the prices have moved from base year to the current year now nominal gdp calculates the gdp at current market price for example here you saw this 20 into 10 200 in the same time period if the real gdp if the constant price is 7 and the production as you know is 20 then real gdp would be 140 right nominal gdp is 200 real gdp would be 140 so the ratio of nominal gdp that is 200 to real gdp that is 140 that shows us how the prices are moving from the base year to the current year so this movement of prices because the volume is fixed here this movement of prices from 7 to 10 from constant to the current market price gives tells us what is the inflation rate that is what is the uh, objective of gdp deflator in the calculation of real and nominal gdp the volume of production is fixed right therefore if these measures differ in only due to change in the price level if there is a change in only the price level that shows us what is the inflation rate and that is what gdp deflator wants to calculate what is the formula of GD, uh, gdp deflator ratio of nominal gdp to the ratio of 
real GDP, right? That is how you come to GDP deflator. Now, what is you might be wondering what is CPI and WPI? If GDP deflator measures uh, inflation or deflation, how what is the use of CPI and WPI? What is CPI? Let's see. Consumer price index is the index of prices of a given basket of commodities which are bought by a representative consumer. So this is only a basket of commodities. There the in GDP deflator, the entire economy is taken. All the goods and services produced in the economy. But in this a basket a basket of commodities is taken and compared. Let's take an example. We have two years under consideration. One is the base year, the other is the current year. For example, in the base year, the cost of purchase of some basket was 100. But in the current year, the cost of purchase has increased to 150. So by dividing this, we come out to the uh, uh, CPI. We measure the CPI, which comes out to be 50%. So that is how you see what is the movement of inflation in the economy by comparing the uh, price in the base year with the price in the current year. We express the latter as a percentage of formula. This gives us the consumer price index of the current vis-a-vis -vis the base year. What is wholesale price index? The difference between CPI and WPI is in wholesale price index, you take the prices of products paid by the wholesale market, the trader. If the trader pays, uh, for example, if you buy bananas, if the trader pays uh, uh, 50 rupees per 12 bananas and the consumer pays 70 rupees, then the inflation for consumer will be different from the inflation for the wholesaler because the prices are different. So this is taken for wholesale price index whereas this is taken for consumer price index. Commodities have two sets of prices. One is the retail price which the consumer actually pays. The other is the wholesale price, the price at which goods are traded in bulk. These two differ in value because of margin kept by traders. This, there is some margin between 50 and 70. This margin is kept by distributors or traders because they move goods from point A to point B. Goods which are traded in bulk such as raw materials or semi-finished goods are now purchased by ordinary consumers. It's just like CPI but it takes the prices for the wholesaler rather than taking the price from consumer. This is the reason that the RBI has shifted its inflation measuring from WPI to CPI because it thinks that what the consumer is paying is the real measure of how the economy is doing inflation wise right and not what the wholesaler is paying.